G'day humans, Chris Stead here. I'm on the road. Today I'm in Jaroa in New South Wales southern coastline and uh, I'm going to about to put up the Oz Trail fast frame Lumos tent, 12 man. Uh, I've never put it up before, it's this classic dad situation here. Didn't get any sleep, hungry, my daughter forgot her shoes, I forgot the mic um, for this video recording. It's raining, it's supposed to rain even more. I've never put the tent up before. I'm going to give it a go, I'm going to see how it goes and I'll get back to you with the results shortly. So, tent complete. <sighs> okay, so quick rundown of putting up the tent. Um, loved the free, uh, the, the quick frame system, the fast frame system. So it popped, back, popped up to its shape almost instantly. Um, we're talking a minute or two and it was fully shaped and ready to rock. Now we obviously had the rain falling today so it had to be quick. Now the fly side of things is just as much of a pain as flies always are. Um, but everything's smartly built. Um, I love the, uh, the ropes, these come pre-attached. So you got the double pull on them. Uh, plentiful amount of pegs came in it. Uh, everything in, went in really well. I'll take you on a tour on inside later on but I just wanted to show you what it looked like as soon as I got it up. Um, I'm looking at it from the back here. Um, I'll take you around at the front. So you've got this big section here, which is all, um, as you can see down here, it's all walled in. So I've had tents before where this front annex is just on the grass, but this is actually, as you can see, it's all um, canvas at the bottom. So I'm looking, that's going to be a big help on this rain weekend. Um, but yeah, it went in really, really good. Came together really nicely. Probably spent, still probably spent a good hour on it. Um, but, you know, I was doing it with three kids, so they were giving me hell the whole time. Okay, so just gonna give you a bit of a tour of the inside, but it's a little hard to show off for obvious reasons, but here we are. That's the far wing. We've got two beds over there on stretchers. Uh, the stretchers just extend a little bit further than the door, which is a bit of a surprise, considering this is a bigger tent than my previous one. And then we've got a stretcher here in the middle, and then, I don't know about this because of the darkness, but then we've got two more beds over here. Um, but the space is really unreal, and this is kind of the, uh, the, real, the real perk, is this lighting that comes inbuilt into the tent, which is just so damn handy. Um, and it's used by this uh, switch over here, which connects to a little pack with a battery in it. Uh, just to note, the batteries do not come uh, with the package, so don't turn up camping without at least four double Ds. Oh, sorry, four Ds, or you're not going to uh, <laughs> you're not going to be able to uh, camp. Yeah, anyway, what do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon about the new tent? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I good. It stops the water getting in pretty well. Yeah, we had a lot of rain, didn't we? Nothing got in, um, but so much height. And you can't tell right now, but it's actually really windy outside and this tent is not even moving. So, big win there. So we're at a new location. The beautiful southern highlands of Sydney. It's no longer raining. I've spent another five or six nights in this tent and some further thoughts for you. So, Really, really happy with this tent. Only a couple little things I'll take you through that we've come across that uh, don't rate as high as the majority of the, the tent, but the setup, this being our second time now on this tent, we nailed it up in, oh, within five minutes, I reckon, we were already moving stuff inside and I was starting to peg down the fly. It was so quick to go up. Like the pegging system is still a lot of pegs. Um, and as you can see, we've already started to take it down. But, uh, in truth, much quicker and easier to set up than my previous tent. Um, now, it's the middle of summer right now, so it's a lot hotter. Uh, and the aeration system is pretty good. It got pretty hot in here, but the blackout, I mean, you can see even, I mean, you probably can't see actually, but uh, we've got full, full sun on this by about 6.30 this morning, 7 o'clock this morning, and inside the tent it's still dark, which is great because the kids don't get up at the crack of dawn like they usually do. Um, as mentioned before in the earlier video, the, the, the stretchers, which fit perfectly fine in my previous um, tent of this size, 
don't fit within the zipped area. Um, but yeah, we just switched to a mattress on the ground here and there's plenty of space. I mean, look how much space there is really. It's heaps. Um, my wife wanted for you to point out that you can stand perfectly easily in here and I'm six foot four and I can stand in here perfectly easy here as well. One little annoying thing, and look, this won't, this won't grate everybody, but the light switches, as you would have seen in the previous video, they light up a bright neon blue, um, which I find distracting when I'm trying to sleep. Um, it allows you to find it, so you can turn the tent lights on, off and on, which are up in there. Um, but, you know, I kind of felt my need to unplug the battery so that it didn't light up when I was trying to sleep. The only other little annoying thing I found was this front zipper system. It's just not easy to get in and out of because you've got this, this T intersection down here. So it comes there, there and up. You've got these three zippers coming in at each other. Um, and it's really cumbersome, especially down here because to, to not get slack on this bit down here, you see here, to not get slack there, you need to have, you know, a fair bit of luck with the pegging and the tents and the wind and the people coming in and out not tripping on it. So it's usually got a bit of slack, which makes that zipper system hard to do up and down. And I would have just preferred, you know, just something that was more like the internal bit where you just kind of kind of go around the space rather than going wink, wink, wink. It's just a bit cumbersome coming in and out. So that's a little bit of a negative, but like hardly worth, um, you know, impacting your decision purchase here. Um, just does not move in the wind this tent hey it's so solid and um there's so many little vents and things that you can open up to give you access to some cool weather even in the heat of summer so really really happy with this tent actually um definitely definitely recommended this is the key part of the design down here you can see how the flooring comes up like a good what oh, 15 centimeters or so up the wall this is all the way around this saved us in the rain like we had a full you know puddle that big outside the tent and no water got in this is all the way around the tent including the fly as i mentioned so that's great it also adds to the blackout you can see the difference there in the light so the, the outside bit here this bit out here goes down past this bit and stops the light as soon as you bring this um this up our hair if you want to let some air in you're going to lose that blackout that's the the pros and cons of it but um so you can see the transition there and it just make sure that it stays pretty black so there's a little light bleeding here but you don't notice it okay pro tip from that where were you when i needed it the first time category uh as always putting the fly on trying to work out which side is the front and which side is the back always a nightmare seem to never get it right despite being a 50 50. here's a pro tip see on the corners here is a buckle system as opposed to previous tents where you kind of hook it into the peg or something, here it ties off with the buckle, which is really, really good. Now, the ones at the front corners are gray, while the ones at the back corners are red. Hey, you can see there. So they put the red corners at the back and you won't stuff up like I did. So one thing you do have to take note of with this particular tent is just how big the bag is. Now it's good for packing up because with all the arms and the way the arms fold in of the fast frame, actually all the arms kind of come together and there's plenty of space in the actual bag. So to slot it in, to slot the fly in, to slot the pegs in, it's actually quite easy to get in there and zip up. That's not the challenge. It's just the sheer size of it can make it a little bit hard to store. And it's not just the size, it's the weight. This thing is pretty damn heavy. Definitely a two person job, especially if you're lifting into a boot or into a trailer. So that's my review of the Oz Trail 12 person fast frame Lumos tent. Really, really happy with it. Great tent. There's five of us in our family. So it's, uh, we've got 10 and eight and a six year old, me and my wife. Fit very, very comfortably in this. Really happy with how easy it was to put up. Really happy with the blackout. Lights inside are a nice, really nice little addition. A couple little tiniest little things that gave us a bit of a, you know, a bit annoying, but really overall, it's a winner. Make sure you head over to the find.com.au website. Check out the full review. Outside of that, I'm gonna get back on the road. See you in the next spot.